fully commit our yes with love forever. Good morning. The God who is ever faithful, compassionate, and unconditional in His love is the God who Sister J. Ann and Sister Cecilia encountered in their journey as missionary sisters, servants of the Holy Spirit. Renewed by the transforming grace of this encounter, their lives are nourished and strengthened with passion for mission as they find their identity and purpose in Jesus, the true vine. Now their hearts are ready to fully commit their yes to God forever. With joy and gratitude, let us join our celebrating sisters on this Eucharistic banquet, thanking the Triune God for inviting them to remain in His love as branches of the true vine and sending them as instruments of His love joy and peace wherever they are missioned as SSPS. Let us all stand. The Holy Triune God faithfully and compassionate loves, calls, and transforms us to say yes forever to God's mission. With joyful hearts, 
let us now join Sister J. Ann and Sister Cecilia in giving thanks and praise to the Triune God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the love of our mighty God and grace of the risen Lord and the strength of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, we acknowledge our sins before the Lord. Let us recall our thoughts and actions and the quality of our response to God's unconditional love. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. Holy Zion God, you have shown favor to Sister Jayan and Sister Cecilia. Bless them and empower them to fully commit themselves radically and faithfully to the task of proclaiming your love with passion for mission to all your creation. Empower them, your spirit, to love deeply so you have loved them and share this love to all. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The prophet Isaiah proclaims the faithfulness of God to us, his beloved, constantly assuring us of his care and protection in the journey. Daitoy may basa kit na adaw iti surat ni Propeta Isaias. Ispalen ti Dios dagiti tattao na Israel. Kuna ti apo an marsuaken ka. Saan ka nga agbuteng? Sa lakniban ka. Inawagak tinagan mo. Kukuha ka. No aglasat ka kadagiti adalem akarayan at daaktuken ka. Di nakanto parmeken dagiti pakariribukam. No magna ka iti apoy, di kanto mauram. Di kanto maanano kadagiti nakaro at pakasuotam. Tasyak ni Yahweh a Diyos mo. Tinasantuan na Diyos ti Israel ang mga salakan ken ka. Yawat konto te Egypto tapno mawaya-wayaan ka. Yawat konto te Etiopia ken ti Seba. Yawat konto de Gitinasyon tapno may salakan ti Biag mo. Napateg ka ngamin kanyak Gaputay tanok ka, ken ay ayaten ka. Di ka agbuteng, taadaak ken ka. Pagawidek to, dagiti tattao, manipod iti kaadaywan, apaset, tidaya ken laud. Bilinek to, tamyanan, apalubusan na ida. Ibagak to, iti abagatan, adina, igawid ida. Palubusan nyo nga agsubli, dagiti tattao, Manipod ka dagiti adayu adaga, manipod iti amin asuli tulubong agawid da. Isuda dagiti tattao, pinarswak ida, tapno idaydayaw da. The Word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have, you have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit because apart from me, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete this is my commandment that you love one another as i have loved you no one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends you are my friends if you do what i command you i do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. It is such a joyous and blessed event to gather as missionaries to share stories of mission and to love one another and also to celebrate mission by witnessing the perpetual profession of vows of our sisters sister cecilia and sister jayan and so in this uh, blessed moment allow me to reflect with you some points in living out religious life and mission. Although I felt I am not worthy, but I believe I was chosen. And so allow me to reflect with you with the theme, Transformed with Passion for Mission, we fully commit our yes with love forever. This transformation begins with a call. You are called to be disciples, which further entails three things. First, you are chosen. As the first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah says, Here is my servant whom I, whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul 
delights. Sister Cecilia, saya mamili ingkau. Sister Jayan, siya tinang pili ka. It is I who choose you. These words of Jesus from the Gospel of St. John will be your constant reminder of God's love and fidelity. For He delights in you as His children, as His disciples, and as His missionaries. Moreover, the Elikano word Pilien and the Indonesian word Mamili signifies more than just being selected. It also means being elected. These words are very close to the Filipino words that we use almost every day. Mamili, which means to choose, and mamili, which means to buy. But there is a difference between these two words, and this difference will help us to see the value of God's call. First difference, hindi lahat ng namimili, namimili. Not all who choose, especially in the stores, pili ng pili, long time, spending long time choosing, but actually not buying. Some are only window shopping. But that, that is not the difference that I want to point out. Because the deeper difference between mamili and mamili is that on the one hand, mamili or to buy signifies an exchange of value. The value of the item or product and the value of the money you paid for. On the other hand, mamili to choose may not involve the same exchange because how can we reciprocate God's love? We are love. You are love. You are chosen. And this love is unconditional. And it is the love that allows us that allows Sister Cecilia and Sister Jayan to respond also in love. And the response, as we can see in the theme, yes, with love forever. Always remember that. Not only yes, but with love. Not only yes, with love, but yes, with love forever. And in this, in this response of love, you must always remember why Jesus called you. He says, I have chosen you to bear fruit. And for us to bear good fruit, we must be ready to be pruned. Last Sunday, I am blessed to attend the Holy Mass in the Mission House with Father Jerry Orbos, SVD. And I would like to share the three piece that Father Jerry pointed out as causes of us being upset. Three P's. The first P, possessions. Second P, people and the third p 
plans. As I reflected, these are also the three P's that we need to be aware of. They are not bad in themselves. And so the clue for us comes from the spiritual exercises. The term inordinate attachments. It is not bad to use things for the mission. It is but necessary and meaningful to relate and build connections with people. It is good to have a vision and a plan. But if they hinder our mission and our being disciples of Jesus, our yes to God, then they have to be pruned. And it is in this context that we appreciate and love the vows, poverty, chastity, and obedience. Evangelical poverty allows us to value first God's kingdom and trust in His providence. Consecrated chastity frees us from being possessed and in possession to being to belong to God alone. Apostolic obedience leads us to allowing God's will to incarnate in us and not be moved by our own wills, by our own plans, but allow ourselves to be moved by the Holy Spirit. This is not easy. You have experienced it in your journey from aspirancy, postulancy, novitiate, as junior sisters and in your tertianship. Your family also experience it. The family of Sister Jay Ann, who are here with us today. Mailiw pa. And the family of Sister Cecilia, who are not with us physically, but are joining us. Merendukan. It is not easy to give up things, people, and plans. But if we trust that all this is for God's greater glory and for His kingdom, we will find the meaning of this sacrifice as our own expression of love. And this love transforms us and makes us witnesses to the world. And this transformation in you, Sister Cecilia and Sister Jayan, give birth to passion for mission. We are taking pride of being religious missionaries. And so Pope Francis in Evangelii Gaudium reminds us that we must always be missionary disciples. A disciple is someone who always stays close to the master. That is a disciple. While a missionary is someone who is being sent to faraway lands. Does it mean that we, we become missionaries? We cease to become disciples? No. Rather, the constant reminder and the beautiful image provided in our gospel shows that Jesus 
is the vine. He says, I am the vine and you are the branches. Abide in me as I abide in you. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit. So wherever you go, wherever you are sent, remain in God's love, abide in Jesus, the true vine. Your mission and our mission, therefore, is not only to bear fruit on our own, but to bear fruit with Jesus and allow others to also join us in bearing fruit in the mission. And so, one important mission of a missionary disciple of today is to share this new way of seeing. You are now transformed. And we pray that in your mission, you will also help others to see God's love and be transformed. One meaning of the name Cecilia is blindness or blind. And in being missionary disciples, we at times become blind. Being baptized Christians, at times we become blind for different reasons. First, we are blinded by pains in the mission. When we experience the pains, the sufferings, it can blind us, blind that vision of love. Also, we are blinded by our own impatience. When we look at ourselves and we cannot find fruit, we do not allow ourselves time. The master is the vine grower and he gives the fruits to our works. The name Jan also means blessing. But how can a blessing causes us to be blind? At times when things are doing well and we find fruits abundant in our mission, we forget to see that we are just branches of the vine. And I believe as missionaries, this is a real challenge. When we see the fruits of our mission, when we see the good works from us, there is a tendency to own that fruit. But we are reminded that we are branches of the vine and the fruit belongs to the vine and the master. As you are transformed with passion for mission and now are ready to say yes with love forever, Sister J. Ann and Sister Cecilia share this vision to others. Again, it will not be easy, but you are not alone. The one who called you, Mamili, Nang Pili, will always be with you. And just as the seed of the faith was nourished by the blood of the fierce martyrs, whose feast we celebrate today, our mission is always nourished by the sacrifices and inspiration of our families, of our friends, of our sisters and confers. 
And so together with our Father, Father Founder, St. Arnold Jansen, we will say, May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the Word and the Spirit of grace. And may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all people. Amen. The right of profession follows. Let us invoke the Holy Spirit to come upon us, but especially upon our celebrating sisters, that she may guide them and fill them with her strength, love, and joy. Please rise. Send for your spirit, and we shall be recreated. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, of the first Pentecost, you instructed the hearts of those who believe in you by the light of the Holy Spirit. 
under the inspiration of the same Spirit, give us a taste for what is right and true, and the continuing sense of her joy-bringing presence and power, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Now the profession ceremony begins. Before pronouncing their vows, Sister J. Ann and Sister Cecilia will ask their parents and guardians for their blessings, after which their parents and guardians will offer them to God wholeheartedly. We now call on our sisters who wish to make perpetual profession. Sister J. Ann Jimenez. Lord, you called me. Here I am. Sister Cecilia Bulu. Lord, you call me. Here I am. My dear sisters, what do you ask of God and of the Holy Church? We ask, we ask for the grace to commit ourselves totally to Christ and for the zeal to, to offer our, our lives to the service okay. of our church by offering ourselves to God in perpetual profession as missionary sisters, servants, my dear sisters in baptism you have experienced new birth and union with christ do you desire to unite yourselves more closely to god by the bound of perpetual profession In responding to Jesus' call, you have chosen to live a life of consecrated chastity, evangelical poverty, and apostolic obedience as a religious missionary. With the help of the Holy Spirit and the support of your sisters, do you resolve to continue to live out these vows for the rest of your lives? May our loving God, who has begun his good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. May the Holy Spirit help you to grow and be faithful to your commitment to share in the mission of Christ. Amen. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, let us pray to our loving God who gives us everything that is good. Through the intercession of all the saints, we pray that our sister Jayan and sister Cecilia be strengthened, empowered, and transformed with passion for mission as they fully commit their yes with love forever.
before Sister J.N. and Sister Cecilia pronounce their perpetual profession, we join them in asking God for His blessings and invoke the intercession of all the saints. Please kneel. people. 
Loving God, hear the prayers of your people gathered in your presence. We thank you for the gift of Sister Jayan and Sister Cecilia for their passion to share in the mission of Christ. By your Spirit, empower them to be true missionaries, witnessing your love with zeal in your world today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The profession of vows. Please be seated. The climax of the rites of perpetual profession of vows follows. Assured of the love of the Triune God, Sister J. Anne and Sister Cecilia will make the act of profession, offering their whole being in consecrated chastity evangelical poverty, and apostolic obedience forever for God and for the sake of His reign.
most holy trinity, you have called us to intimate union of life with Jesus Christ. In gratitude, I respond to the call of your love by giving myself entirely to you. In and with Christ, who gave himself completely to the will of the Father and for the redemption of the world. I too will proclaim your redemptive love to all and thus cooperate that the church may be flourished in all nations. And so I, Sister J. Ann Jimenez, vow to you, Holy Triune God, forever chastity, poverty, and obedience in the mission congregation of the Holy Spirit according to the constitutions of this congregation. I make these vows before you, Sister Rosario, as representative of the Superior General and in the presence of this community. Demikian saya, Suster Cecilia Bulu, berkaul kepadamu Allah Tritunggal Maha Kudus untuk selama-lamanya. Keperawanan, kemiskinan, dan ketaatan dalam kongregasi misi Abdi Roh Kudus menurut konstitusi kongregasi ini. Saya mengikarakan kaul ini di hadapanmu Suster Rosario sebagai wakil Ibu Agung dan di hadapan komunitas ini. Divine Spirit, take me into your service and make me an instrument of the work of your grace so that the kingdom and glory of God become perfect. Mary, Virgin and Mother, help me to live my vows from day to day in the strength and joy of the Holy Spirit. Sister J. Ann and Sister Cecilia will offer their candles to the Blessed Mother, symbolizing their acceptance of Mary as their mother and model of faithfulness and obedience to God and His will. The signing of the document of profession follows. Sister J. Anne and Sister Cecilia sign the document of profession in the presence of the whole congregation and place it on the very altar of sacrifice to signify that their offering is united with the offering of Christ.
most loving God, bless these strings as signs of fidelity and love. May Sister Jayan and Sister Cecilia, who will wear them, delight in their covenant of love with you and your people every moment of their lives. Amen. The receiving of the rings follows. This part of the profession ceremony bears a special significance to our dear sisters. The ring symbolizes the perpetual bond between them and Christ. Sister J. Ann, receive this ring as a sign of your love and total consecration to Christ. Remain faithful to the triune God. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Cecilia, receive this ring as a sign of your love and total consecration to Christ. Remain faithful to your covenant of love to the triune God. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please rise for the solemn blessing. Let us extend our right hand as we pray and bless our celebrating sisters. Loving God, our desire to serve you is itself your gift. Our perseverance needs your guiding hand. How right it is that we should sing your praise. Amen. Loving God, we earnestly pray you keep ablaze the fire of your love in the hearts of your daughters to keep them faithful in witnessing your life and love with passion for mission to all your creation. Amen. Loving God, may the gospel values shine in their yes, strengthened by their vows. May they remain faithful to Christ and his church. Amen. Loving God, guide the steps of your servants and guard them in their journey through life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Sister J. Ann and Sister Cecilia will now sing their covenant song.
in response to your decision to be one with us forever. I now welcome you in our midst as members of the mission congregation, servants of the Holy Spirit, sharing with us all things in common now and in the future. Friends and sisters, our newly final professed sisters, J. Ann Jimenez and Cecilia Bulu. In the name of Sister Miriam Altenhofen, our congregational leader and the uh, whole congregational leadership team, we will now announce their mission mandate. Sister, Sister J. Ann Jimenez, you are a mission to the country and people of Zambia for for three years as cross-cultural mission experience. And Sister Cecilia Bulu, you are a mission to the province and people of the Philippines South. <laughs> Sister Pearl is here. Sister Perlita from the Philippines South is here to welcome you already. We will now proceed to the liturgy of the Eucharist. Please remain seated. With joy, let us offer praise and prayers to our God who has called us to love and to share his life to all. Terpujilah engkau ya Tuhan sumber segala cahaya Semoga cahaya kebijaksanaanmu Menyenari hati para pemimpin kami Dalam mengambil setiap keputusan Teristimewa kami mempercayakan kepadamu Presiden terpilih Filipina yang dilantik hari ini Terpujilah engkau ya Tuhan sumber harapan dan kegembiraan Kuatkanlah dan gembirakanlah hati semua orang sakit Teristimewa mereka yang mengalami COVID-19 Blessed are you, Lord You are the good news to the whole world Quench the thirst of our youth for your word Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation let the poor and the needy share in the abundance of your goodness. Blessed are you, Lord, our bread of life, wine of love. Be the strength of all missionaries and the Arnoldus family. Live in the spirit of the founding generation.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His church. Faithful God, accept and sanctify these offerings from your family and from these your servants which we make to you on the day of their consecration. By your grace, they join themselves more closely to your Son, Jesus Christ. Change these gifts into living signs of eternal life, and their whole being may be transformed to the likeness of your Son, the missionary who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just loving god we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through jesus christ our lord he came the son of a virgin mother named blessed by those who were pure of heart and taught by his whole life the perfection of chastity. He chose always to fulfill your holy will and became obedient even to dying for us, offering himself to you as a perfection, a perfect oblation. He consecrated more closely to your service those who leave all things for your sake and promise that they, may, they would find a heavenly treasure. And so we join the angels and saints as they sing their unending hymn of praise.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, Saint, Saints Arnold and Joseph, blessed Maria, Helena, and Josepha, the SVD martyrs and the first martyrs of Rome, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who took away all our sins. Blessed are those who call the supper. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring Amen. us everlasting life. Amen.
troubled. Do not stay afraid. It is really I whom you see. I offer you now my peace. I have waited for this moment to be with you again. In my heart you'll remain, in your heart I'll stay. I am with you till the end of your days. I am with you. Have faith that I hold you, even when you let go. And I love you, you must know. I am ever with you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not stay afraid. I'm beyond all anguish and death. I'm risen to life anew. that you've been emptied and can give no more. Know that I am your breath and I feel your soul. I am with you till the end of your days. I am with you. Have faith that I hold you even when you let go and I love you, you must know I am here, I am ever with you. I am with you till the end of your days. I am with you, have faith that I hold you. Even when you let go and I love you, you must know I am here, I am ever with you. Let us pray. Lord, you have gathered us together in your love to share the one bread of life. Make us one in our concern for each other. Strengthen us that we may might be compassionate to one another and to all that you have created. By our way of life, may we be true witnesses of Christ to, love, to all. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, magandang umaga, naimbag nga bigat, salamat pagi. Today is the day of jubilation, a day of thanksgiving to God for the many great and wonderful gifts He has given us. These gifts come in various forms the gifts of life, of family, of friends, of our talents and opportunities. For all this, 
we owe immense thanks to the Lord who arranges all things sweetly for those who love Him. But there are four greater gifts than this. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Praise His holy name and never forget all His blessings. Are the words that dwell up in my heart as I commit myself to the Lord forever. My whole being dances with joy to recall God's marvelous works in my life. From the womb, He shaped and fashioned me. In all joys and sorrows, He has been with me, walking by my side, holding my hands, and reaching me to this day. The Gospel reading from St. John that we've chosen for our perpetual profession of vows is not just about our personal relationship with God, but most important, it is about our prayer to God to help us to be faithful to our religious consecration, to be zealous in reaching out to those whom God entrusted to us. Recalling our years of experiences since our initial yes to God, I feel that in the midst of my service to others, I have actually received abundant blessings from God as what was written in John 15, I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower. If any of my branches does not bear fruit, he breaks it off, and he prunes every branch that does bear fruit, that it may be bear even more fruit. In our formation years, God has pruned us, transformed us, blessed us with many talents, and help us to discover our gifts in different situations, to be whole, to love unselfishly and unconditionally, and that involves a lifelong journey. Trusting in God's transforming and compassionate love, we are happy to make our perpetual profession of vows Full of joy, we thank all of you for your presence and all those who are joining us online. We continue to ask you to support and accompany us with your prayers so that we will remain faithful in our covenant with God and to, and to the congregation as missionary sisters, servants of the Holy Spirit, throughout our life. There is saying in Tagalog, kami na po, simply means to admit officially that a boy and a girl are in relationship. In regard to this final profession, the kami na po becomes very significant to me. Since I profess officially that I am in relationship with God through the SSPS sisters. Kami na po, or si Kamin in Ilocano, demands in my part a lifelong commitment to Him and self-giving to Him, to the church, through the mission. This kami na po also is a profession of my readiness to be responsible and faithful to Him with humility and freedom. The kami na po, or sa words na mga millennials, I am already taken, is my yes to Him to be His 
and belong to Him forever. Di ba may forever kay Lord? Sa Kanya lang may forever. Anong feelings ka pa may forever? First, Siyempre, masayang masaya. Because I am married to the one I love so, and who loves me so unconditionally. And I am going to live with Him forever, with my congregation, the SSPS sisters. And second, I am feel challenged. This commitment, as Father Mike a while ago said, is not easy. It is challenged because I am unworthy and I realize it is not because of me, but God. Reflecting about upon God's transforming love in our lives and looking at the events of these years and all the people who journeyed with us brings us gratitude. On this very special occasion of our perpetual profession, this word speaks to us as we feel a deep sense of gratitude and express them to you here. To Father Levy, our deep thanks to you, Father, for being the main celebrant for, for our perpetual profession and for your prayers and support over the many years that we have known you. To Father Mike, whoever finds a true friend finds a treasure. I am truly rich. Your ongoing support, friendship, and prayer help me to put many things into perspective. You traveled far, still from Sambuanga, and accepted the challenge to be our homilies today. Thank you very much, Father. To all priests who came to concelebrate, Father Gary, Father Sherwin, Father Bani, Father Ben, Father Ignas, Father Melky, Father Rino, Father Frankie, Father John, Father Max, Father Kasmir, Father Otto, thank you for coming and for celebrating with us. May God sustain you in His gifts and enable you to continue to grow in grace and prosper in every way. To the SVD community here in Shrine and Seminary, thank you so much for your loving support and for allowing us to use this place for our perpetual profession. To our provincial leadership team, Sisters Rosario, Nisa, Evelyn, Angel, and Vema, you have enkindled our spirits with your love. Thank you for allowing us to grow and develop into the sisters we have become today. Convinced of our identity as a beloved of God, and as a missionary sister, servants of the Holy Spirit, your magnanimous support in our formation makes us feel so blessed and ever grateful. To our dear parents, the true foundation of who and what we have become. You have, you have continually strengthened and inspired us, without which, we would have not ever come to reach this moment. Your love has always been our strength and consolation. Papang, Mamang, Josti Agnina, iti panangidato nyo kanya kini Apu. Ading Jona, agyaman na kuna iti adong asakripisyom. Ading J. Mark, Agyamanak tasika timangkad kadwa kada mamang ken papang. To our relatives and friends, 
for sharing with us the first day of our lives as perpetually professed SSPS sisters and for traveling both far and near just to be here. We feel especially fortunate to have many special people in our lives. To our dear formators, you have done more than words can express. Today, we show our sincerest gratitude for molding us and for showing us that there's still much more to learn. We will cherish your firm guidance with warm appreciation. To our companions in the journey, especially our speakers of our various classes, face-to-face -face and online, your passion in sharing your expertise to us is truly insurable. We are so glad that God brought you into our lives. To Sister Nia and our sisters in temporary vows and young final vowers, for your generous service in helping, creating and decorating the flowers, and preparing the Arnold Jansen Hall for this special occasion of our lives. We shall never get tired of thanking you. To our AJSC community and, and the staff for their hospitality, you have given to my family and relatives that made them truly comfortable and feel at home. To the choir, Diane, Paolo, Frater Jonathan, and the missionary sisters of the Blessed Sacrament, and for Sister Annabel, Sister Tessa, and their companions, your voices amazingly reverberate in our hearts like sweet melody. To our technical team, Diane, Divine, the seminarians from Christ the King, and for Sister Faith, who made it possible for the live streaming that witnessed by our family members and our sisters in the different part of the world to make our family members and sisters feel one with us in this celebration. To Sister Anesilde, who has lovingly prepared our corsards and our candles, we thank you for doing it graciously for us. To our SSPS sisters from the different communities, we really appreciate the beauty of our religious life. We are always family by grace of the bonds which hold us together as religious. Each one of you have individual characteristics and gifts which have edified us and help us to grow in our identity as SSPS. We are also grateful to our lay missionaries and benefactors who have supported us in responding to the call to the religious missionary life. And my sincere thanks to Sister Micaela and Sister Nisa for the growth session and personal accompaniment during our tertianship program. We are grateful for your spiritual wisdom and understanding which enrich our lives deeply and help us in our spiritual growth. To Sisters Cecilia, Sandra, and Nia, thank you so much for journeying together towards our yes forever. Our uniqueness and giftedness as individuals makes our journey in formation more beautiful and meaningful. To the sisters in the different communities where we as were assigned, who have journeyed with us at different points in our mission journey, in your different ways, you have inspired us and challenged us towards growth and positive change. To Father Chris and Father Paulini, 
of the Society of Jesus for accompanying us during our 30-day retreat. Thank you so much for reminding us to be grounded in our relationship with God that will help us to persevere in our chosen vocation, even in times of consolations and desolations. To the many people and our sisters who contributed in making this occasion memorable, our hearts are indeed filled with gratitude for all that you've meant to us. And we would like to express our deep gratitude for all the women, youth, children, street people in Kalinga and Mapalad, indigenous people, especially the Mangyans of Mindoro, whom we have served in the mission apostolate. They are God's greatest gift to us because through journeying with them, their struggles, their growth, their joy, and their sorrows, our hearts has been moved to respond with compassion and merciful love. Through them, we have learned to trust God and have the belief that God does hear the cry of the poor. We ask you to please continue praying for each one of us. May the Spirit sustain our hearts on fire for mission. We have been graced in so many ways over so many years, and we know it has been the Spirit of Jesus who has kept the fire burning in our hearts as we live His passion for mission forever. I would now like to end with an invitation to all the young girls, to all young women and men present here today to open yourself to God's whispering in your heart. Is God calling you to the priesthood or religious life? If today you would listen to the voice of God, harden not your hearts. Come and see. Find out what is the purpose of your life. You will be truly surprised at what God has been for you. For with God, nothing is impossible. Thank you all once again for your presence and participation in this celebration. And may God continue to bless each and all abundantly. Josti Agnina, maraming salamat po. Terima kasih. Magandang umbaga. Good morning. Selamat pagi to all of us. On this special moment, I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to my sisters in the East Flores province, West Flores province, my parents, relatives, friends in Indonesia. So please allow me to say it in Bahasa. Pertama-tama dengan penuh rasa syukur dan sukacita, saya mengucapkan limpa terima kasih kepada tim pimpinan provinsi, tim pimpinan kongregasi SSPS yang telah menerima saya untuk menjadi anggota suster misi Abdi Roh Kudus pada hari ini. Terima kasih kepada tim pimpinan provinsi Flores bagian barat serta para suster seprovinsi yang dengan penuh kasih telah membentuk saya telah memperkenalkan SSPS teristimewa untuk suster Felicia yang telah meyakinkan keluarga bahwa panggilan ini adalah nyata bukan hayalan cinta Tuhan lebih sempurna dari segala macam cinta. Saya ingat sejak tahun 2012 sampai 2014, saya dibimbing dan dibentuk 
dengan segala macam bentuk cinta dari setia formator masa aspiran dan postulan hingga saya mengalami transformasi diri kehidupan baru dan meyakinkan diri untuk menjadi suster SSPS Terima kasih saya yang berlimpah kepada tim pimpinan Provinsi Flores bagian timur yang telah mendoakan saya, mendukung dan mempercayakan saya untuk terus bertumbuh dalam cinta Tuhan dan memberi saya kesempatan untuk mengalami kasih Tuhan di negara Filipina. Oleh karena cinta dan dukungan dari para pemimpin dan para suster seprovinsi yang terus ber, berjalan bersama saya, membimbing dan membentuk pribadi saya, sehingga hari ini saya boleh berdiri dengan penuh keyakinan menyatakan ya untuk selama-lamanya kepada Yesus Sang Cinta Sejati. Tersimewa saya ucapkan limpah terima kasih kepada Suster Thomasin yang telah membimbing saya selama masa novisiat sampai masa junior. Pada kesempatan yang berbahagia ini, saya ucapkan limpah terima kasih kepada Bapak Mama, Kakak Adik, Om Tanta, Saudara-saudariku sekeluarga, saya percaya kalian hadir saat ini bersama saya hari ini. Dengan harapan dan keyakinan yang sama, saya percaya bahwa sukacita hari ini adalah sukacitamu. Perayaan hari ini adalah perayaanmu. Karena tanpa doa dan dukungan dari bapa mama dan keluarga, saya tidak mungkin berdiri di tempat ini. Karena kerelaan dan keterbukaan hatimu membiarkan saya untuk memilih jalan hidup yang lain, menyerahkan diri kepada Tuhan, kepada Dia yang tak kelihatan, namun nyata dalam segala hal. Terima kasih untuk cintamu yang tulus dan kepercayaanmu yang teguh, pengertianmu, Terima kasih Bapak Mama untuk segala bentuk kekuatan. Kamu berdua tetap menjadi orang tua saya di mana saja saya berada. Saya bangga bahwa Tuhan menciptakan kalian untuk menjadi orang tua saya. In this special moment, with joyful heart, I would like to thank to the provincial leadership team of the Philippines North Province, Sister Yeye, Sister Angels, Sister Evelyn, Sister Emma, and Sister Nisa, for your love, especially for accepting me to be part of this province, and for allowing me to have my final profession here in this province today. Thank you for all the sisters SSPS Philippines North Province, for all your prayers, sports, and for being my companions on this journey, especially to Sister Nisa and, to, and Sister Sally for being my junior formators since I arrived here until today. You are still my formator in my heart. May God bless you all and continue to pray for each other. Lastly, in a unique way, I would like to thank you to Kuya, Don, and Ate Rachel for being my representative parents today. Thank you for 
for your love, support, and for accepting me as your daughter in Christ today, and for being part of my life. Of course, my parents and family, they are grateful that God has chosen you and prepared you to be my guardian parents today. As my father and my mother always said, continue to be good to all people, wherever you are. Share your love and accept them as your parents, your brothers and sisters and family. Thank you, Paul, and God, and God bless you. Today is your day, not ours, for it is with your persistence, prayers, and sports that preserve our vocation. Thank you very much. God bless you all with love and compassion. Please rise for the blessing. Let us extend our right hand to our sisters as we pray for them. O Holy Triune God, we are happy to offer to you Sister J. Ann and Sister Cecilia. Thank you for having loved chosen, transformed, and sent them that they may passionately proclaim your love to all. May you always be their security and source of inner strength in their mission now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and ask God's blessing. God inspires all good desires and brings them to fulfillment. May God help you to fulfill with steadfast faith all you have promised. Amen. May you grow in openness to the Spirit and in generosity and love respond to Him as His faithful servant. Amen. May you be an instrument of God's strength, joy, and peace to all you meet on your journey. Amen. And may the blessings of my Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we have celebrated the sacred Eucharist together. Let us go and share the good news of the love, peace, and joy of God to all. Thanks be to God. Thank you everyone here at the Divine Word Shrine and those joined us online, especially in Indonesia and also overseas. Thank you for joining us in this Eucharistic celebration. Reception will follow at the Jansen Hall. Now the family members, please. 
family members. The parents of Jay Ann and uh, then the rest of the family of Jay Ann. <laughs> 